Hello everyone, it's Shannon here for Waffle Flower Crafts. In today's Watch It Wednesday video, I'll be showing you how to create a really fun and playful birthday card that is perfect for any child. I'll be using these new products from Waffle Flower Spring Released. First up is the Jungle Birthday Stamp Set. This was illustrated by Kamo. I really love the cute little animals in this set, especially the monkeys. I'll be using the matching dies as well. Also, I'll use this set by Liz. It is called Limo ride. I'm going to use a lot of the uh, presents and a cake and balloons from that set and the matching dies. This is also from our spring release. This is called the nine grid die. I'll be using this to help build my scene. I'll also be using the apartment builder die again and uh, I'll be using the scenery die as well. So first up I'm going to pull that cloud like or scalloped uh, die from the scenery die set pull that off using the nine grid and then this kind of roof with the chimney from the apartment builder. I'm just going to cut these dies out from some 110 pound white card stock. Hold them in place here on my uh, card stock with some purple tape and then I will run them through my die cutting machine. I'm cutting basically a roof, my apartment and um, some grass or tree, top, tree tops um, with that scalloped die from the uh, scenery die set. So now that I've got all the pieces uh, cut, I'm just going to pop them out and pop out all the, the squares outside out of the uh, apartment builder, or I'm sorry, out of the nine grid die. I'm not going to be using those square pieces and put these aside. So I've gone ahead and cut a, a little bit of contact paper here because I'm going to create a mask. This is just uh, regular contact paper you can order through Amazon, you can get it even at um, your local stores, like I got this at the 99 cent store. I'm going to take that uh, scalloped die from the scenery die set and place it here on top of the contact paper and then just run it through my die cutting machine just like you would if you were cutting cardstock. And I'm going to use both sides of this mask, the straight side and the scallop side for um, blending today. So I'm going to blend all these pieces. I've got the three pieces that I die cut earlier, the roof, the, the treetops, and the grid. And I also cut, which I'm placing right here behind, a square panel that fits directly behind the nine grid. I just use my paper trimmer. And I also have my top folding card base as well. I'm going to start with the nine grid panel here. And I'm going to ink blend um, Lucky Clover. This is a Distress Oxide all over the uh, surface of this um, panel. Nothing fancy, just blending the straight color over it. I want it and then trying to get it even. And you, you can use something like, um, I'm using my tweezers here to help hold it in place because the um, distress oxide stays wet longer and that way I don't pull up any of the ink that I plate put down on the grid. So now I've got the panel that I trimmed down to fit behind the nine grid and I'm going to use some waffle flowers, you said what, to blend. This is gonna go behind the grid and it's gonna kind of be basically what you see through the window. So I'm adding some of this yellow to kind of add some warmth and I'm going to use the grid here to to help me figure out where I need to blend and stop blending and then I'm going to use this mask that I made earlier. Now I'm just using the straight side right now. I'm not using that scallop side. I'll use that later but I'm just helping me help using that grid to help me align up where I need to blend next because I want this to be I want this yellow gradation to be at the top of every window and now I have one more row of windows here to do so I'm going to grab my um, grid again you line up the mask so it's right in the center of the panels for the windows and then um, blend some more you said what which is this this yellow color so now that's all finished, I'll grab the panel here so you can kind of see what it'll look like. So see, that just adds, it's hard to tell on camera, but um, hopefully in the photos you can see, it just adds a little bit of warmth in the windows. Now this is the roof that I cut using the apartment builder die. I'm going to take um, Waffle Flowers Like a Pro, which is just a really pretty gray, and I'm just going to blend all over the entire um, die cut. So nothing fancy again, very similar to how I blended um, the grid with the Lucky Clover, just completely covering it. No gradation, just completely covering. So now I'm going to 
make my background. So I have my A2 top folding card base here, as well as my mask. And I'm going to, I cleaned it off real quick. You saw me cleaning with a baby wipe because I did use it earlier for, uh, with the yellow for the um, panel behind the nine grit. So I wanted to remove that yellow ink so I didn't kind of make green ink on, on my um, panel. And I placed down the scallop side and now I'm blending with Memento Bahama Blue just a little bit. And you can see how the mask creates a beautiful um, a scallop which mimics clouds. And I'm going to continue moving down, blending a little bit and moving down. I blended the heaviest at the top and I'm lightening my pressure and using less ink as I work my way down because I want this also to have an ombre or a gradation where it's darker at the top of the card and then it gets lighter as I work my way down. So I'm moving down. I'm almost done here. I think I have one more row here I'm going to do. So even lighter, very, very light. And then I will finish it off by just blending a little bit more without the um, mask. And that just kind of helps that transition. So it's a very smooth transition. Now I'm moving on to the grass. I'm just going to blend some Distress Oxide Twisted Citron down at the bottom. It's kind of a really pretty lime green. But I'm going to um, amp up the green a little bit by grabbing some Chirp Chirp. This is Waffle Flowers Chirp Chirp. This is a dye ink and I'm going right on top of that Twisted Citron with this um, really like a true Kelly green right over the top. And then I'm going to do the exact same thing to this scalloped um, grass or shrubs or um, treetops. It just depends on how you want to look at it. But I'm going to blend this exactly how I blended the green on the uh, card base. So I just started reverse order. I started with the chirp chirp and then I finished up with the twisted citron. So now all my ink blending is done. I'm going to pull out all the pieces here so you can see all the pieces that we ink blended. So those are all complete. Now I'm going to move on to my images. So I already went ahead and stamped and co Copic colored as well as die cut all these images out. Several of these images are from the um, the uh, Jungle Birthday stamp set and a few of them are from the limo ride. Ba mainly the balloons and the presents and the cake are from the limo ride except for one present, that blue present. So when you die cut that um, tiger out, you only he only he the die only intends to cut out um, around him, all of them except for one side. So I just had to trim the rest of him out of my panel and now I'm going to trim these bananas here, you see right there out of the monkey's hands. I don't want him holding the bananas. They're going to have him appear to be holding the banner that I've stamped and colored down below. So I just cut those, um, those bananas out of his hands. And now I'm going to take a white gel pen and just cover up where there are black lines left from that those bananas. So it does look like it has this seamless um, white border that you all the other die cuts have. And I will hold this monkey up camera so you can kind of see how well that really works. It's very simple and it really does hide um, those stamped lines that we don't want to appear. Okay, so now I'm practically, I've got everything cut and I'm now ready to assemble this card. I did go ahead and die cut off camera um, a nine grade again and that roof again but out of craft foam. I went ahead and used the green craft foam for the nine grid because that panel is green. I blended green all over it already. So this will just use up some of that um, green craft foam that I have laying around. I'm gonna use some Tombow Mono multi-liquid adhesive here and just put it all over the foam grid. I really like this adhesive for any time I'm using craft foam and I'm probably I'm gonna stick with this adhesive for the rest of this card just because I have it out and it's handy but it's a wonderful adhesive especially for um, multiple surfaces uh, like other than paper you know like um, uh, sequins and craft foam it, this glue is really great for um, lots of different surfaces so it's a wonderful glue to have. So I just, now I'm glad, now that I glued the paper nine grid to the craft foam nine grid, I'm now gluing both of them to that panel, square panel that I cut earlier to fit behind it. And I just put something weighted. I used my platform from my die cutting machine just to weight it down a little bit as it uh, dries. Now I'm going to glue my craft foam roof to my paper roof. 
again using the Tombow Mono Multi Liquid Adhesive here and then just kind of center it, make sure they're lined up and then put that aside and kind of let those dry while I work on and grab my um, my card base or my card. So I'm just centering here seeing where I want everything to go and I'm going to grab all those um, images that I colored and some foam tape and I'm going to cut small pieces of foam tape and add them behind um, almost all the images except for some of the balloons and the um, the banner. And I did have to trim down the, I have to trim a couple, but I trimmed down the elephant and one of the monkeys so they fit inside the frames. So I just trimmed his, his legs and a little bit of his tail so he would fit. I'm going to leave the bird, he, I let him, part of him hang out. And uh, the tiger goes right in the middle. That monkey right there, he will get trimmed down. And so he appears to be inside the apartment give him a little foam tape and then I will grab the um, the uh, other two monkeys here and add some foam tape to the back of them this guy is going to go right down at the bottom and this one here will go up at the top he's going to be the other monkey that's holding the um, celebrate banner and I'll add a little bit of foam tape to the back of the cake and then now I'm going to uh, assemble or uh, arrange, I should say, these three presents here. And then I've used a little bit of purple tape want to hold them in place, flip them over, and now I'm using a little bit of glue to glue down that present that's in the back to the front two presents. And I'm gonna let that sit just for a little bit while I start to remove the backing on, these fo on the foam tape on uh, most of the images and then put them in place. The uh, toucan though, he's, so there's one piece that's missing that's off camera right now. I'm going to grab it just for a second here because I need that to figure out where I'm going to place that toucan. Is It is the this piece right here, the um, scalloped um, border that we cut. That's going to be basically like the treetops or the shrubs. I need to kind of put that in place so I know where that toucan is going to go so he doesn't go, he's not hidden behind the that greenery border. And then I just added a little bit of glue to the back of that blue balloon and put him right behind the toucan. And now I'm continuing to remove the backing on the foam tape and pop these little guys in. I still haven't glued the nine grid to the card yet. I'm still um, arranging all these things and then I will glue it to the card. I could have gone ahead and glued it to the card, but I just kind of forgot about that. So I'm now gluing the um, banner directly to the, um, the nine grid. No foam tape needed for this one. And then I will, the, the presents are dry, so I'm now going to add a little foam tape to the back of those. Oh, but first I'm going to uh, glue these balloons in, tuck them behind that banner and glue them down to the uh, nine grid. And then I cut a little bit more foam tape here. I'm gonna peel that off and pop that in and that is my last image that I need to tuck into the nine grid. So now I'm gonna add some glue to the back of this. I'm just using a scrap piece of paper there. And um, then I'm going to grab and put that in place. Now I'm going to grab that uh, greenery border add some glue directly onto nine grid again and then glue that down. It is I do have a small gap between the border and the card base or the bottom of the card and I do like that I just think it adds a little bit more depth I could have pushed it all the way down to the bottom of the card but I do like that and and then I went ahead and glued the roof and this is pretty much done so really cute I think all the little animals in this set are darling especially when they're all grouped together it's such a fun little birthday card and I think especially for a child they'll just love seeing all the little animals and the presents and the cake and the balloons it's a really fun and playful card I hope you guys enjoyed my video today if you want any more information on the products I use please visit waffleflower.com and you can follow us on YouTube Instagram and Facebook for more creative ideas thanks for watching have a wonderful day